Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It's finally time to share the next part of my balcony garden series with you. The first actually from this year. In the beginning of April we were experiencing sudden snow, although many trees were already in bloom. Luckily that snow didn't last too long and I could finally kick off the new gardening season with a garden center visit. I made a rough plan on what I wanted to plant in the raised beds this year and therefore wanted to buy new strawberry plants. I have a few in a window box, but they are already older and didn't bear much fruit in 2021. I was amazed by the varieties they had in the garden center and picked up some and a few other things which I will show you in the next clip. Please beware that my birds are very loud in the next few minutes, I apologize for that. Bärenwunder, like berry wonder, <laughs> and they are supposed um, to give uh, fruit very early in the year. I think it says end of May, beginning of June. Um, yeah, and I mean for six plants, ten euros is a very good price. Um, but I got other ones as well. Then I got. Please put back of soil for um, sowing and for earth. Okay, then I got this. It's, it's um, okay. Then I got this. It's a starting gran granulate mix for um, seedlings. And yeah, I never saw it before, and I wanted to try. It's also organic and as well as these microorganisms they are supposed to um, be beneficial for the roots and for um, nutrients in the soil and it's um, liquid and you put it in your water when you're watering the plants and yeah you know it didn't cost that much and I, I'm always uh, up for trying new things then and this got a bit wrecked in my backpack um, seeds for eggplant and it looks like it would be like bushy plant and um, smaller fruit smaller eggplant and it also says it's uh, suitable for raised beds and balconies um, yeah uh, I will try this one This one's called uh, Grapefruit Mint and I really like the name and the plant. Looks really good, very nice big leaves. Um, yeah, and I need a new mint plant. It's a lupin plant and I hope it will survive in my raised bed. I don't know um, if it will adapt. But yeah, very excited about this one. Close. Because this is actually um, a strawberry that's supposed to climb. And yeah, trying some new varieties. 
This one is this one is called White Pineapple. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Some good old parsley. Forget me not. <laughs> I just couldn't resist the color. It was so it's so bright and vivid and it just screams spring to me. And it's an anemone and I, I really love this flower. And I'm very excited about having it on my balcony and I hope all my plants will survive. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I will uh, get some work done because it's already quite late. It's already um, quarter past seven. But um, yeah, let's see. The next day I prepared the raised beds on the right side of my balcony in which only my kale survived from last year. I even could harvest a few more leaves from it before it was time to say goodbye to it. I then prepared the soil by adding Bokashi compost to it, just to ensure that there will be enough nutrients in there for the season. Topped everything up with new soil and started planting some old and new strawberries. I found a few cockchafer grubs in the window box, which I set free in the ground surrounding my building.
couple of days later, another fun part finally started again. Starting new seeds. I knew I wanted to grow many different varieties of tomatoes this year, so I planted a lot of tomato seeds. I didn't want to repeat last year's mistake of not properly tagging my seedlings, so this time I used some wooden sticks to write the variety names on them and stick them in the soil. A lot of my tomato seeds are from a seed swap Facebook group, which is a great place to find new plants and varieties. I'm planting the newly bought eggplant seeds as well, as long with some chili seeds, which, spoiler alert, unfortunately didn't sprout at all. Later, I also started pumpkin seeds. I didn't plant bell pepper, cucumber and zucchini this time, as especially the last two didn't do that well last year and I wanted to focus on other things, like flowers for example. A few weeks prior to the seed starting fun, I already started some salads and bok choy, which were now ready to be transplanted in the raised bed on the left side of my balcony. 
This raised bed would be used for tomatoes, the pumpkin and other plants later in the season. But since it was only mid-April, I filled the empty space with rather fast-growing salads. After that I filled up another seed tray with soil and planted different flower seeds in there. I kept the seed trays in these mini greenhouses I bought online, so I could keep a close eye on them for the coming weeks. And that's already the end of the first balcony garden video of 2022. But don't be sad, the next one is already in the making. Let me know in the comments which plants you are growing this season. Thank you so much for your support. Take care of yourselves and see you next time. Bye!